Okay, that one. I'm past near the fourth one. The card should be around here. Fine, let's go to my steam. Hey, Misty. Happened upon some more murals. A little different. These can't say exactly how, just different. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. So, saw a guy wielding a pair of swords. Hmm. You've met the King of Swords. Oh. One of my personal <laughs> favorites. <laughs> Something good? Well,. The King of Swords sees clearly and is a strong voice of reason. But when emotions run high, even reason can't always rise above the jazz. His truths are often sharp, painful to hear. Some would rather cover their ears, live a lie, if only to avoid suffering. I saw this figure sitting there with, mm, don't know, a goblet, maybe? Ah, the King of Cups. Oh, be especially careful with anyone you've met who this card might be pointing to. Well, gotta be careful with everyone I meet these days. On one hand, the King of Cups signifies understanding, emotional balance. On the other, he's the opposite. Manipulation and spiritual crisis. And V, hun, the last thing your spirit needs is even more chaos and disappointment. So there was this figure, seated, holding this thingamabob, like a club or scepter or something. The King of Wands? So that suggests you've met a leader who sticks to his principles in pursuing his aims, or even some grand vision. 
Okay, good or bad? Well, as ever, it depends on you. The King of Wands suggests fresh opportunities, the discarding of old patterns or habits. But it implies a certain danger, too, of ruthless action and shortcuts taken. And in the end, it could demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. So I saw a hooded figure, Star War pentagram behind him. Devil's dealing's your area of expertise, too? Mm, the King of Pentacles. Having dealings of your own with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. Someone like that. Dangerous, V. World looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. <laughs> Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard? I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, you'll remain true to yourself. Uh, thanks, Misty. I guess. Still gotta wrap my head around this. You know where to find me if you need any help, V. Ever run into a guy who calls himself a Zen master? No, but I've heard of him. He try and give you some meditation BDs? Uh-huh. Then he disappeared. All I found was his clothes. And that worries you. The way he was talking, it was like he knew about Johnny. Didn't say anything directly, but... Maybe you just <laughs> took his teachings too close to heart. Yeah, maybe. Any case, if you see him again, send him to me. Wanna meditate too? No, wanna read his tarot. Hey, Misty, happen upon some more mirror. Hmm. Well, I think you're caught between strong personalities, boring ones, even. Nothing. Don't dismiss it, V. You've got new possibilities to explore. The choice is still yours, though. So what do I do? Just be true to yourself, V. Your heart will know the way. Wanna read my tarot? Sure thing. The Hermit. In solitude, he discovers the truth about himself and the world. From this, he draws strength. His lantern cutting through the darkness. Could be you, or... Someone who shows you kindness? But watch out. A reversed Hierophant lurks in the darkness. He brings crisis, both in life and authority, rebellion and fanaticism. He is a grave threat. The devil reversed. You will find yourself under the influence of powerful people with unclear motives. Be very careful. The tower. You and everyone around you will experience a great shock. When the tower falls, nothing will be the same again. Nothing at all. Thanks for the heads up, Misty. Oh, watch out. I'm glad you understand. Gary!